We're talking about the members of the mycoplasma family one by one. Uh, the next one we should be trying to look at is the mycoplasma hominis. Mycoplasma hominis. So for the mycoplasma hominis, uh, you can see the structure. This is how the structure actually looks like. How the organism looks like. You know. So we say it is a fascinating and sometimes troublesome member of the what mycoplasmatica family. All right, so it's a tiny bacteria, it lacks a cell wall. So, of course, this now makes them what resistant to any drug that actually needs an organism to have a cell wall before they can act, like penicillin. All right, so um, where it lives and how it spread is it commonly resides in the urogenital tract, especially in women of reproductive age. Now it becomes part of the normal flora, that's the normal organisms that should be in your urogenital tract. This is one of them. So it's considered what a sexually transmitted organism. It can pass through vagina, anal sex, you know, possibly through close genital contact. You understand? So it's a normal guy that is supposed to be there, but it can cause problems to you that if maybe your immune system goes down. Or maybe the growth is now too much, you know, it's not regulated again. So, uh, when does it cause trouble? So, he said that it basically was opportunistic. Opportunistic is like, okay, the thing is actually waiting for an opportunity to strike. You understand? So, the opportunistic is mostly when your immune system is not up to date, so it's weak, all right? But the microbial balance is disrupted. So this can lead to several in, uh, infections like what pelvic inflammatory disease, bacterial vaginosis, postpartum fever, infertility, can also complicate pregnancy, right? Causing preterm labor. So diagnosis is what nucleic acid amplification test, right? It's not, or it can actually stick culture. Do the culture is actually slow, technically demanding, all right? Treatment is what? It lacks cell wall, so you have to leave other drugs that require cell wall to act, like penicillin. All right, so you have to actually opt in for other alternatives, like what clindamycin, doxycycline, fluoroquinolones. These are the ones that are commonly used, depending on the resistant pattern that you have on ground.